hello, it's um, Captain Muffler here. We're here in a tier 10 game in our tier 8 platoon on Ensk standard battle. Fortunately we got into a tier 10 game even though we're in our tier 8 platoon. We have uh, Kex in his Lorva, Daggerheart in his STA1 and I'm in my D28 prototype. We're on the map Ensk. Um, when I spawn north on Ents, I always go to the same spot, no matter what tank I'm in, depending if it's a light tank or not. Um, I go to D2. The spot is really strong for this tank in particular because of the front armor on it plus the turret. If you look here, if you keep the tank at an angle like this, you're it's going to be very hard for them to pen you. When you push up here, I'm going to show you the channel or the uh, the alleyway that you can kind of shoot through where the VK is right now. If you come up here and you, you do what I'm doing, you're just showing your front and the turret, and you can look directly down past where Kex is in his lower bit, and you can see any approaching tanks. When they get spotted, like, y you can slap them for 400 or so with this gun, and they're, they're gonna bounce off your front, depending on their gun. I saw Kex get hit there about 20 seconds or so ago, and he got hit again, which is making me think that there's a, a, a nice tree or so down there, straight ahead that has been spotted. As you see, when I pulled out, I got spotted straight away. And right enough, there is a nice tree there. Kex sinks one into him, and I sink one into him. If you haven't already noticed, that our east flank has completely crumbled. Only Daggerheart and a Pershing went that side. I missed a snapshot on the ice tree. At this point, I, I'm looking at the map, and I hear Dagger in, in TS telling us to return to base. I pull back into cover before torn in the hole. They're starting to cap, there's 26 seconds left on the cap because of tree. Amex 50B comes across and he gets absolutely annihilated. As you see we lose dagger hurt there. This gun is 400 alpha and look at this. Absolute bullshit. Push forward to see the IS-7 here, but the Conqueror's gun, or the FV's gun, sorry, is in the way. I'm going forward, I hit him on the nose. He hits tra uh, Kex's tracks here, and I'm going forward again, looking for another shot, and I see the Centurion in the back, try to hit him on the move, because there is only 20 seconds left. I miss, unfortunately. I see the Pershing on my side, I'm trying to keep my hole turned towards him. But I see the IS-7 pull back out, I turn my hole to him, Pershing comes back out, turn my hole again to him, there's 5 seconds left, pushing up, I see the T-69, I shoot, and I reset all the way, T-69 was the one holding all the cap points, push back out again because he's not even looking at me, get another shot into him, the IS-7 is pulled all the way back, I come out again, Keeping an eye on that Pershing though, when my team is keeping them under pressure. Come back out, finish off the T69 and pull back. I'm looking at the I7, I think he's gonna pull out here, but I think he noticed me. Come back out, sink the shell into the Centurion here. We lost Kex to the Pershing. Keeping an eye on that Pershing here. I take a hit from the Centurion. And finish him off. Take another hit from the Pershing. Turn back around to the Pershing to put him under some pressure. Our M103 comes in. The IS-3 changes sides to go at the Pershing and the M103 takes the left side. At this point I'm pulling back. I really don't want to die seeing as there's tanks coming up on the E1 area so they could arrive at B2 any moment. I missed the snapshot again on the Pershing here. And the full health ice tree appears. And this donkey does not notice me at all. 
hit him with one shell and he, he seems keen on killing our OS3 on 81 HP I sink another shell into him he still hasn't noticed me our M103 hits him and I finish him off now the Yag Tiger pressure in our artillery and our object as well as an OS3 pull out here knowing the Yag Tiger just fired hit him clutch in the lower plate and our Batcha artillery kills off the OS3 now this tank is shit slow so let's speed it up here here you see me looking at the gun depression on the T20 prototype which is 10, minus 10 degrees artillery gets spotted here and push up on him with the M103 I think he's gonna go out here to the left so I get I pull over to the right side as you saw there the road so that I have a shot if he does come out M103 spots him with uh, within the 50 meter proximity he comes around to the left right now I'm thinking this could be my mastery badge so you see Dagger Hart in chat telling the M103 to let the prototype get the kill to secure the mastery badge I don't aim in here you see me do that throughout the game because the prototype is it'll pen anything like that at this range it's ridiculous and I finish off the GW so as you see from that game I got my mastery badge I got 2.3k XP and I done 5k damage I hit 15 of 18 shots here you see I came top of the team on damage 1.6k XP undoubled no premium thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe